Hello everyone. I feel like I haven't done this in a very long time. Kind of like just a makeup chit chat type of video. So today I'm just going to go ahead and do that for you guys. So hello, welcome back and we're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> Ignition on your mouth, but I never listen. You hold me back, we'll never last. Keep talking all your shit. Hello, everyone. So, I feel like I haven't done this in a very long time. More of like kind of like a sit down type of chit chat video. So, that is what we're gonna do here today. I feel like I haven't filmed like a makeup thing in a while, um, and I feel like I've done a lot since. So, through this tutorial, I'm just gonna fill you guys in on my life a little bit, what I've been doing, um, what's been going on, and I'm just gonna do a makeup look. Um, I have some new makeup I've been playing around with and I really wanna share that with you guys, so let's get started. So check out this beauty. I came home to this literally two weeks ago. Um, I got home from Nashville and this beautiful box was waiting for me. Once again, I still don't even know how Pixie has my address. <laughs> these are tinted blush sticks. I saw these a while back and I was like, oh my god, like I really want to try those. And I never got a chance to like run to the drugstore or see them anywhere. And before I knew it, I was already at my house. So like that just makes me so excited. But these are so beautiful. I'm going to open this up for you guys. Now look how gorgeous this package is twist swipe and glow and just look at that they look like little mini deodorants they're so cute and like i feel like you could throw this in a bag just to have um they're just so adorable i've tried these out already and i love them so much i tried all the colors and i'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys just so you can see what we're working with so i have this really pretty deep rosy kind of color i think this is in a ruby and this can be used as a cheek and lip tint type of situation it's really pretty so i'm just gonna put this on my lips so you guys can see just what kind of now this looks wild but i'll do a look with it but i just want to show you guys like what this is so this is kind of like a lip situation type of thing. I look wild, but I just wanted to put it on just to put it on for the video. So, and then if you wanted a little color on the cheeks, that we, that's what you would do. Um, but yeah, there's three different shades and I love them all. I've done a bunch of different things with them already. I've just used one as like chapstick, threw that on, and then I did a look with the ruby color. I wanted to do a whole type A um, sunburnt type of glow look, which is what I'm about to jump into. Um, but yeah, I love these so much. They're so like easy to use and I feel like they're just easy to roll on too. So. If you guys want to learn and do a fun little summer look that's like super trendy with the cute little faux sunburnt glow type of look, then please keep watching. And so don't mind how pale I am. I tried to take a lot of my self tanner off. Um, I still have to take some of the other tanner that's still left on my arms before I can retan. So. For this video, I'm probably just gonna make myself look tan with contour bronzer foundation uh, just because the colors I have right now are a little darker than me. Um, but that's all I have because I just was at a wedding and Nashville and I was I was pretty glowy and dark for that because I had a, like a professional spray tan done. Um, and then I've just been trying to get it off since. Um, so yeah, so let's just jump right into it. So I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna try to use both of these pink ones. Well, this one's a little bit more on the 
redder side but I'm gonna see if I can use this one too but I'm gonna use this one for sure um, to start out seriously I can't get over this box I'm gonna keep it forever because this is like pretty much my official well I don't know if it's my official but this is like this is like one of the first like major brands that have sent me like a really like cute PR box and I think I'm gonna keep this forever so super excited so yeah gonna keep this forever thank you pixie okay so this is just easy to use you kind of roll it and you have to be very careful when you put the lid back on because I forgot to do it like one little turn and some of it got on the top of the lid so just be careful and make sure you're turning it all the way down or else you'll kind of like mess up the top but I mean it's not a huge deal so I'm gonna go ahead and put the blush on my face and we're going for a very sunburn to glow type of look that's like honestly look how pretty that color is so pretty like so pretty um I just love when you've been outside all day, you've been having so much fun and relaxing with your friends and your family and you're a little bit glowy from the sun and you know you go ahead and take a shower and all that stuff and you just have this nice little glow on your face. That is my favorite time about the summer, just like your skin getting kissed and beautiful, all that stuff. So. All right, so I just put this on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. You can use a beauty blender or this has a little foundation on it. So this is clean, a clean brush. I just wanna blend it out. And I just put this where the sun would like naturally hit me and I usually just get a little like burnt obviously right here a little bit on my forehead but i'm just gonna kind of do it on my cheeks today i'm gonna just try to put a little bit just because i know i took some of that off when i did the beauty blender all right so I went back to Nashville with my sister and my best friend and it was so much fun. Um, God, it was so much fun. Everything was great. When we first went, nothing was really open because of everything going on still. So we didn't really get to experience it how we wanted to. Um, so this time around, everything was open. It was incredible, all the bars and just like, all the shops and just like getting to really experience Nashville like how you would want to experience it. Uh, it was just so much fun and amazing. I went to a couple of places we didn't go to the last time so it was really nice to just see all those places and just have fun. I'm gonna put a little primer on and this is the NYX Honeydew Me Up. This is honestly my favorite drugstore like sticky type of primer. I feel like it holds everything down and makes things last all night long. So not that I need it right now, but it's honestly one of my faves. So I'm just gonna blend this out. So yeah, we got to Nashville on Sunday. We got there on a Sunday, like two weeks ago, and it was just me and my sister and we were meeting my best friend. She was coming in on Monday. So we got there pretty late. Um, so we just decided to order food and it just sucked just because we got there super late and like nothing was open pretty much. And so we decided to Postmates or what, what is the other one? There's another service, I totally forgot. Um, just like order food. And pretty much when we order food, the 
the order we put in, some lady was going to pick it up and everything, but she canceled on us when it was like like 11.30 at night. And we were like, what? That is the only food we get to eat all day. We've been flying all day long. We've been crammed on a plane. We just like want to lay down and eat and just like go to bed. So we ended up ordering McDonald's, which is like so gross. But I just had fries just because everything else I was like, I don't even think I can eat this. So, so um, our food got to us at like 12.30. It was just so late and I was just like already halfway asleep. And my sister was like, okay, like I need to eat or else I can't go to bed. Like I'm gonna be like so upset that I didn't eat all day. So, so I ate, I had some fries and she ate whatever she got and it was pretty gross. Um, but yeah, we woke up the next morning pretty early I think. Um, and then we just like got our day started because our best friend was meeting us. So we got our coffees, we went straight to the Gulch. Um, that's where we were staying because we stayed downtown last time, which I really loved. But we just wanted to be somewhere different this time. And I liked where we stayed, but I wasn't like crazy about it. I wish we stayed more downtown. I have like a hair. Um, I wish we would have stayed a little bit more downtown, but it's fine. It's next time we just will stay back downtown uh, just because that's where we really enjoyed it the last time. So we walked around and we did some shopping. Um, I like never do my foundation first. I don't know why I'm doing my foundation first, but that's fine. So we walked around, went to a couple spots, took some mural pictures as normal. You know, there's a bunch of those when you're walking around in the gulch. So we just did that and then we went to Whole Foods just so we could um, eat lunch just because we were already there getting drinks um, and stuff. So we're just like, uh, we'll just eat here. So we had some food there. We really wanted to go to lunch somewhere, but with time it was just not, not the best to go sit down and eat somewhere. So we got our stuff and then we walked back just because it was pretty close. It was like maybe like a 15 minute walk, 20 minute walk. And it wasn't that hot. Like I don't mind walking. Um, but yeah, and then we ran into Vici, which is like one of our favorite stores so we went to Vici and we were just like looking around just because we didn't have like a lot of time just to like try stuff on or like really shop since we were still waiting for one of our friends to come in so as soon as we were like looking around in there she's like oh like I just landed so we're like okay we have to go back so we headed back um then it was pretty hot, so we're like, okay, we're just gonna take a car just because it's like hot now, and it's really humid. So, took a car back, and then finally met up, and it was so nice just to like hang out. And, and then we just like sit and chilled for a little bit just because we had been walking all morning. And then, what did we do after that? I can't remember. Okay, so yeah, so we got back to the place and then I think we just like hung out for a little bit and then we all did our makeup just because we didn't have like that much on. Um, we just did like a little like face makeup and then as soon as we all got ready, we were just like, okay, like let's go for like dinner. It's like 3 4 o'clock at this point. So we went to go to Bakersfield, which we love that place so much. It is so good. They have really amazing tacos not crazy about their margaritas just because i feel like it's a little salty for me um and it's a little sour there's like a lot of sour mix i guess i don't know um but i mean i seriously still love that place that place is really delicious so i totally would recommend anyone to go to bakersfield it is so good their tacos are amazing and then they have this amazing queso that i've talked about before 
so amazing. It's like super creamy and cheesy and it has like, it's like the loaded version so it has like the taco meat, jalapenos and like the tomatoes and like all the good stuff. It's so delicious. So anyways, we had that, we had our picture of margaritas and we're like having a good time and we're like, okay, like what do we do? And our original plan was to like just go back later change get ready go back out just at like hit the bars and like have have you know fun or whatever i'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution this one is their chilled palette and it has a bunch of really pretty colors in here i'm just gonna go ahead and use this really pretty brown shade down here in my crease and i'll just swipe that right here so yeah, anyways, we had no idea we were going to stay out all night long, basically. But I guess that's just what you do. Um, we went to... I forgot the first night where we really went. But I know we kept, we ended up at... What is it called? Whiskey Row. Whiskey Row is so much fun. It's so clubby. And it's just like such a good time. The DJ there... I don't know who the DJ was. I wish... If I can find out, I'll, I'll let you guys know in this video. But seriously, amazing vibes. Like, music was like insane. Super fun. I wish I could go there every single night. It just gave me college vibes and it was such a fun time. Such a fun time. I'm using like a dark brown in the outer V. Lightly just putting that in the corner. I'm just going to try to do like a light eye. I'm not trying to do anything wild. So anyways, um, night number one was amazing. We had so much fun. And then night number two was a Tuesday. I think we were so burnt out. I don't remember if we went out that night or if we just did dinner. I don't remember. We were so burnt out because we were... We were literally staying in Nashville until Friday, so we had all freaking week, pretty much. Okay, now the fun part. So I'm going to take... A foundation brush. I love this brush. This one is by Elle Maquillage. I love, love, love this brush. And then I'm going to take the blush stick and this is such a pretty pink I'll show you guys this one kind of has like a little makeup on it but it is such the pretty pink and all right so I'm just gonna like put it on the brush I feel like when you do cream products it's just better to put them on the brush instead of just like I feel like when you do this wipes off everything you just did so I like to stick this on the brush and then I'm gonna take the other one I know you probably can't see on camera but I can see like a little bit of the pink underneath and I just did that as like a base you don't have to but that's just what I like to do um, and I'm just gonna lightly tap this into the skin where I want the sunburnt type of look to go. So just put it where the sun would naturally like hit you. So mine always goes in the center and a little bit on my forehead. I just blend that all the way across and you can add more as you go. But we really loved Kid Rocks. We went to Luke Bryan's during the day for a little. We just like walked in, but it was like, um, there was like no one on the second floor. So we went all the way to the top. There was a couple people upstairs, but um, it wasn't anything crazy. So we just left and we went somewhere else. So I think we went out Wednesday night. I'm pretty sure we did. 
and we went to Miranda Lambert's new bar. We actually didn't get to go inside. She had a soft opening, so it was only open to uh, friends and family. And so we saw a bunch of people going in and out of it. There was no one I recognized. Um, I'm sure a famous person walked past me and I probably wouldn't even know who they were. Um, but as soon as we had left, because we waited maybe there for, I don't know. I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit and see what that does. I'm gonna do a little bit with the cream. But we, we were waiting and we had no idea why we were waiting. So people were saying, oh, like Miranda's in there and she's having her soft opening tonight. And so we were like, oh, cool. So we just like waited around, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes or something. Um, and, and that was like pretty much it. We didn't really, we saw a bunch of people go in and out, but no one we really recognized. And then when I was on TikTok two nights ago, a girl who was in the same crowd as me, she was just on the opposite side of the circle that was like surrounding the, the doors. She got a video of Morgan Wallen coming out. She got, I'll insert the clip so you guys can like see it. But she insert, or sorry, she got a video of Morgan Wallen coming out, John Party and Summer Party. She got a video of Darius Rucker, Cole Swindle, I believe. Um, who else? Miranda came out. And then Hardy. And then, is that it? I think that might be it. But I'm just like, these people probably came out as soon as I left. So I was so bummed about that, but it's fine because we had fun anyway. I think we just stayed. I think that night we just went to, we went to Kid Rocks that night, I believe. And then we just bumped to a couple other places. And then we went back to Whiskey Road just because I think that place was like one of our favorite places to be just because they had a really good DJ and stuff like that. I'm gonna go and put a little bit more just because I love, I love blush, but I just love the sun kissed look. I think it's so pretty. So you look at my neck, it's so white compared to my face. I have to fix that. And then just gonna do a nude lip, keep it casual. And this is El Maquillage in natural something. I don't know because I've used it so many times. Maybe I can find that and I'll list it. And I like to overdraw it, so like to go over like a little bit nothing crazy and I just go over the whole lip we can use the pink as like a little bit of like a tint it's really moisturizing too, which is really nice. It's like a balm, pretty much. Kind of lightens it up. A little bit of eyeshadow. I, I don't know where my the one thing I do want to use for highlighter is downstairs and I'm doing a separate video on it, so. Eyeshadow is fine. So I'm just using this Natasha Denona as a highlighter. It does the same thing. You don't have to use just a highlighter. I do this all the time. It does the same thing as a little bit of a glow. I'm just gonna do that on the nose, inside of the eyes. This is my favorite setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. 
swear to God, should not be talking during this. Your makeup does not go anywhere. It's like the best thing ever. I'm gonna try to put this down my neck. I'm using this e.l.f. CC cream. I'm just gonna try to um, blend that down a little bit. I feel that like that is going to be a final look so give me one minute let me go change and I'll be right back so this is the final look for the pixie cheek and lip tint I love this faux sunburnt glow kiss type of skin I think it is so adorable seriously you can't go wrong with it I feel like it would look even better if you just did a small tinted moisturizer and then just put that a little bit over your already sun kissed skin just to make it pop a little bit more um, I feel like that is just so cute so thank you so much pixie for sending me these beautiful cheek and lip tints I love them so much I love you guys I'm so appreciative of anything that is always sent my way if you're new here remember to like comment and subscribe I would love to have you here I love having new faces join me and just getting ready with me and talking about all the fun makeup and beauty stuff here and until next time I will see you guys in my next video